Hi, welcome to Droll Plans. I'm Tom Norris and today we're going to take a look at um, a web-based photo and graphics editor called Photopea. And uh, Photopea's been around for quite a while um, and it's gaining momentum uh, as the years go by. So let's get in there and let's we'll have a look at it. Um, so it's it's a web-based software so you don't have to do a big download and when you enter as we've done just now you can see we've got some ads on on the right so what it is is it's a it's free online software so we can't really complain if there's a few ads on the right and if you get tired of the ads you can always upgrade and go a premium so at the moment we've got a free account and you can go premium then depending on and depending on what you want, uh, starts around five dollars a month. So really, it's a, it's it's a no-brainer. But for most of us, for personal use, uh, I certainly I can put up with a few ads on the right if I can get what I want. So so how do we? Where do we start? How does it work? And so on. Well, let's get to, let, let's get something going. And the way you get it going is you get a new project going, a, a photo, and so on. So I'm going to do something a little bit perhaps more unusual just to get uh, pique your interest so to speak I'm going to take a picture and the picture of course will be uh, of me so here I am and um, take a picture and I've, I've now I've now got uh, if I can just close this I've now got a picture of me so we're going to use that as uh, what just to represent you needed to bring one image in and once you open a file bring an image in you can copy and paste you can take a picture from your webcam you can bring in your own files you can take in multiple files it's the usual thing now on the on the left here all the tools that you would expect and uh, uh, from what I've been reading is that um, you, we're, we're talking about on being on a par here with Photoshop and you know, uh, as good as uh, that's if you, if you can believe what I'm reading, uh, it's as good as Photoshop and doesn't come anywhere near as uh, well. It doesn't come anywhere near when it comes to the price tag because, like I say, this is a free bit of software. Uh, we can all use it, and if, as I say, if we want to take a, a commercial license or loads of us use it, then we pay a little bit of money, get rid of the ads, etc. But generally speaking, I'm not going to go through any of these tools because if you've used any uh, graphics or image editing software, you're well aware of how it works. It's just that you need to uh, perhaps, uh, you know, learn more if, depending on where you are in the process. So if I click on my photo here, this is what we call the properties up here. So basically an image, so you can see how it will change. The numbers change as I do something on the image. Uh, over here on the right, uh, let's see, we've got um, for the menus. This is all about layers, channels, paths, and so on. So it, you know, if I want to add something, take out something, it's all about creating layers, etc. Uh, we've got further, um, options here and I'm, as I say I'm not going to go into it because the nature of what I'm doing here is it's a kind of an introduction to Photopea. Um, basically uh, what I'm saying is you've got a fabulous bit of software here and it's equal or on a par to Photoshop and that if you actually start going through it or start using it I think you'll find you've got a robust piece of software and I can tell you this now from the stats because there's more people searching for Photopea uh, online than there are for Photoshop and when that happens when the brand leader is uh, on saddle so to speak when the brand leader is beaten uh, to the uh, the number one post by another another uh, brand I want to see what that other brand is and that's why I'm here so if we look at um, Photo P. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, this is soft. This is the uh, part of the learning process for uh, Photo P. So again, you see, you've got all the when it comes to learning, 
you can use this say in conjunction i mean for me i could be having uh, split screens here and i could be uh, easily using uh, the workspace if you have two monitors even better but i'm just saying i could be using uh, the tutorials on one side and then of course um, applying on the left and le learning uh, about all the you know as a walk to basically a walkthrough and if I was you I'd start at the top and work your way through and whatever you do and obviously if you have two screens much better but if you haven't it's feasible to do it uh, of course you can always go you can always uh, just change the tabs and go back and forth but uh, it's a brilliant bit, of, a brilliant bit of software, and of course uh, we're looking at a decent bit of tutorial uh, which goes in depth to, uh, you know, with pictures and uh, yeah, I, 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 there's nothing I can find wrong with it. I mean, as because don't forget, it's a free piece of software, and anything that rivals Photoshop that's for free is certainly worthy of taking a look. So I was using it earlier in the morning on some uh, Formula One cars, uh, doing some photo editing. I was hugely impressed, I tell you. So, uh, and of course, the, the main thing uh, you got to consider also is if we look at, um, just look for a second, look at the pricing here. 51 pound a month, Photoshop 20 a month, 250 a year. All of these uh, image and photo uh, programs, software from Adobe, uh, they're costing an arm and a leg. And here you have some free software. And if you're not content with using the Learn Photo P um, tutorial and uh, you, you want to go to YouTube, go to YouTube. And again, loads of videos, tutorial, how to use it in depth so uh it's a no-brainer get yourself back um start using it that <laughs> that's my view I, and i know that um i'm now going to be uh, I'm, I'm going to be a fan i'm going to be using it for basic editing that we use uh, but i there's a few other bits i want to show you because before i go um and i'm going to do a a new so a new project so what you got to consider is if you're doing a new project um beauty of this is here it's to do with this menu here so for example uh, what is it we want to do well for example if we want to do anything to do with social media if we wanted to do something for a uh, page cover for Facebook or sharing an image or uh, Insta Instagram see lovely square templates here so we got loads of templates YouTube profile uh, YouTube cover Twitter profile all done in the proper size so these are great starting points so you're you're away you really are uh, set up immediately just to click on one of those and then work from it so to speak you any and, and there's loads of them uh, so when it comes to printing uh, again you see you pick all the pick all the sizes you want uh, depending on what you want to print you know if it's an a3 fine a4 you're good Photo, uh, for photo uh, printing, all the standard paper sizes. If you're on screen and you want, say, um, the, the most important one here, uh, certainly for YouTube, 1280, 720, uh, these are the images and templates all done. So with symbols, with photos, filter, randomize. You're, if you're doing something for mobile, uh, here we go. All the standard sizes again for the different types of mobile um, ads. You're making ads for promotion on your website, etc. Banners, leaderboards, billboards, you name it. So this is fantastic. It really is because it's a great way of starting. Because let's face it, everything we do, we start out, and it's either connected with social or it's something we're going to print or it's photo or it's something to do with the mobile or the screen or the ads and so on it has to be so it's a great starting point that's my view if you're just taking folders into edit fantastic just download uh, drag and drop take some pictures whichever way you want to do it you can just copy and paste but either way uh, this is software you got to be looking at and so I suggest you uh, and you don't even have to download it but I suggest you head off over to Photopea 
and do the same as I've done and have a good evaluation of the project and uh, work your way through work your way through the menu down here uh, these are all the tools as I say whatever you have in the uh, workspace and the properties will be here and when you start editing they're going to show up they're going to show up over here uh, so right uh, that's about it that's as much as I can show you um, I hope you download and I hope you have lots of success with it so thank you very much for watching I'll see you on the next video bye for now